Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be designing this poster inside Adobe Photoshop. The first thing we want to do is create our document. I'm going to use uh, 1700 by 2400 pixels and just press OK. Perfect. I'm just align my Photoshop here. And next we want to go to the toolbar here and select ellip Elliptical Marker Tool. Such a nice name. Let's just make holding Alt and Shift. Let's make a perfect one like this. You can just hold it and then leave it. And I just go down to the to adjustment layers here and then get the gradient here. And on the gradient tab, we're going to actually select the angle gradient. Perfect. And just press OK. And let's go back to our layer here where is the gradient. Let's right click and convert to a smart object. And let's just go to uh, layer here and then duplicate layer perfect and then let's press command T or control T to actually activate the transform options for the object and holding shift again let's just rotate this from the corner something like this perfect let's just drag the bottom one down like this select them both make it a nice composition something more or less like this. Perfect. Next, let's go to here again to get our solid color. Let's just add a really nice, like not full white, but like very light gray color on the background. Drag it in the back, even maybe a little bit lighter than this. Something more like this, because we don't want to lose like the gradient happening here. Cool. Next, let's just uh, go create a new layer here and then get our paint bucket tool here and let's just fill the entire layer with a paint bucket not a gradient tool I'm sorry where is a paint bucket tool it's here fill with black and then let's with the layer selected let's go to filter and then find the noise and then add some noise here I'm gonna use like 5% on uniform and monochromatic you can actually increase it a little bit more maybe and then with the layer selected, I'm going to select screen. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I like to add a little bit more detail. So for that, I'm going to go back to the selection tool here and I'm going to use a rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to make a really nice rectangle here. And I'm going to go to the gradient tool again and then select the gradient. And then you know, now this time I'm going to use actually the linear one. I'm going to invert the angle to zero there. And then I'm going to come select this layer and then go to layer again and then duplicate layer. Press OK. Command T to drag it to the top here. Perfect. Actually going to push this a little bit down here. This one a little bit down. And then actually this one here. I'm going to just lock this layer because I'm moving it all the time going just to lock it and then here you're going to click on the gradient and then invert the, the gradient orientation to the other side and perfect this is pretty much it let's just align this to the center be sure like it's really well aligned and everything and then I'd like to add my signatures actually if you don't mind I'm just going to import my signatures from the other poster and I'm going to just drag and drop it so I call it info actually. Let's just drag and drop the info here. I'm then I'm going to put it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please, if you do like and subscribe to this channel, if you're not subscribed yet. And I hope I see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.